Hello guys, most welcome in Technological Help here. In this video tutorial, I will show you easy way to remove Apple ID, simultaneously also easy way to terminate Apple a screen passcode of any iOS device. See, especially in this video tutorial, I will use for you key software. This software has been developed by a TinoShare developer and because of this, of course, TinoShare developer finally it become easy to remove the Apple ID of iOS device and also remove the lock screen passcode of any iOS device. How it work? Let's see. Just you have to click there and you have to go for a start. So it has started to remove now, see. Simply just you have to connect your data cable from iPhone to PC or laptop, whatever device you are using. It will be functional, guys, in both bit. Whatever that is, uh, 64, yeah, 32 bit of any operating system. I mean, you are using Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 8, 8.1, that doesn't matter. It will be functional in both bit also, 62, yeah, 32 bit. It will take a scarcely one to five minutes to remove Apple ID permanently from your iPhone device. By, by unfortunately, if you have forgot. Now see guys at the moment, I have removed my Apple ID from my iPhone device. Thus I have forgot. And here is the option. If you would like to share these ones with your friend, no problem at all. Otherwise, just to go for done it. So this is way to unlock your Apple ID and terminate your Apple ID from your phone for permanently. And now finally I have gotten opportunity to enter my new Apple ID and password in my iPhone device. Now here I have option to unlock a screen passcode. So just let's see. Just I will go for a start. It will automatically detect your iOS Fimber. So see guys, this Fimber IPSW is 10.3.4 uh, and this is iPhone 5. So simply what I will do here, I have a two choice. One is a directly manually selection of IPSW iOS, I mean, if you have already downloaded from any website, so directly go for browser and directly you will be able to select. So for example here, let's see, I have already downloaded. So just I will go for here and uh, I have already kept here this one, so. I will come in Apple device now. I will check my IPSW here. So, see for Yuki tool. Sorry, here this one. 16. No, this one not uh, here. Let me have the ones again here. Here, I have to come. Just to have to scroll down. Sorry, guys. Let me have the ones again. I'm sorry for delay. Just I will come in my PC now. I will go on my data and now I will come where I have kept this IPSW. So I will come in my here now. Now, see guys, actually, I have the four good that's where I have kept after downloading this. IPSW, so just I will go for here, simple way, download, 
and otherwise if you have already downloaded just a selections and after selecting yeah otherwise just after selection you can select it from here also directly uh, for example here see just I will go for browser in browser here let me show you here in data in data just I will come on computer computer to yeah Apple device now see guys in this is so here I will select this one's my and I will go for open so see guys when I will go for a start and look it will start to verify firstly iOS then it will start to it is the all kind of the data that's the present in this iPhone and after erasing it will give you opportunity to send it once again your Apple a screen passcode by your own Apple ID and password you will get it to enter on your Apple ID and password and then you will get opportunity to send it to your Apple a screen passcode easily once again here otherwise if you directly then just go for download it so it will start to download now see at the moment now it will take a time guys so just I will pause it now so this is way to remove your uh, screen passcode of any iOS device simultaneously also you can remove the Apple ID of iOS device it will be functional below 10.34 iOS this software is a compatible yes below 11 iOS my dear so just to go for it, visit this website and download it and go for unlocks. No problem at all. It's a very easy way by this software. So just kind of the credit, of course, and definitely goes to Tino's here, software developer. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. And how do you like this video? Just leave the comment below the comment box. And uh, still, if you have any inquiry or confusions, then just leave the comment below the comment box. I will reply as soon as possible because this is a thing that will inspire me to make more and more video for education purpose so thank you guys have a great time